In 2012, a famous YouTuber killed his own family. Then he still plans to kill students at his former school, but the police have caught him immediately. This YouTuber is Trey Sessler or Mr. Anime in the world of YouTube and becoming a killer. Before we start our story, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button to be updated with life amazing stories. Trey Eric Sessler was born on August 8, 1989 to a loving family. His mother is Rhonda, while his father is Lauden Ray, and his brother is Mark. They were just two siblings. In his teenage stage, he is engaged in making short films. So, in September 2006, he created his YouTube channel for he uploaded his made videos. His channel was called Lenscap Production. At that time YouTubers have never paid with ads, so if you make a channel share out of a passion for that, and not for money. If you search Lenscap Production on YouTube, you won't see it, since it was already deleted by YouTube on September 30th, 2020. Trey uploaded many short films, skits, and devices. Sometimes his mom and brother are still involved in his video making. But a few years later, Trey has been announcing his channel that he will change the theme of his channel. He will focus on reviewing Japanese anime since he is very inclined to watch anime. Since then, he has been nicknamed Mr. Anime, one of the pointers when it comes to reviewing Japanese anime. He has been the inspiration of many YouTubers back then when it comes to anime reviewing. Also coming in those days, he was also fond of guns and he was buying and collecting various guns. As he uploads videos about reviewing anime, he also keeps uploading about the use of firearms. He uploaded short films and vines that he and his brother were shooting each other. Sometimes he is demonstrating and is so proud of his firearm collections. He did this for 5 years, but his fans were concerned about what they were watching. Because they thought he was just experimenting with different content, and then they believed Trey was opposed to gun violence. In 2009, he released a video discussing his association with the mass shooting that took place in America. If you remember, almost all news content at that time was the mass shooting in America. On May 13, 2012, Trey uploaded a video titled Mr. Anime New Job. Here he discusses how he got as a full-time employee with a company. He did not mention the name of the company, but he told his viewers that because of the job he could not upload videos as often as before. But he made sure to his viewers that he wouldn't quit YouTube. What not everyone knows, this is just the last video they can watch Trey on his channel. A week later, after his goodbyes on his channel, the YouTube community was shocked by what they had heard. They couldn't believe what happened to Trey. March 20, 2012 morning, Trey Seslar is lost in the vanity. He called her mom to go to their garage as he just had something to say. When they got into the garage, Trey pulled out his gun then fired four times on her mom's chest and immediately died. His brother was angry at the gunshots he heard. It was annoying because it created noise. His older brother thought Trey was doing target shooting that annoys him, and said to stop the target shooting first. Trey entered the house and saw his older brother speaking in anger. He didn't shoot him right away. He entered his room and took another class of gun. He came out of the room and then shot his older brother and hit it two times on his hand and thigh. Although he is wounded, still, he crawls into their comfort room to hide. Trey just let it go, then he went to his parents' room. He saw that his father was still asleep. He did not hesitate to shoot his father, then he shot his father two times and he immediately died. After killing his father, he goes to the comfort room where his older brother is. He intends to kill his entire family so that they would not suffer the wounds they suffered. So, he kicked the door of the comfort room, then he killed his older brother. After he killed his family, he is very wild inside their house. He broke their appliances, the doors, and the wallpapers were sealed. He even wrote on the door that he apologized for what he had done. When neighbors heard the gunshots, they called police immediately, then the police went to Sussler's house. Here, the body of three was interrupted by them. They couldn't see Trey in those times. But the next day, Trey was seen under the bridge and here he was arrested. Here, he admitted to the police his plans for murder. His real intention is to go to his former school. He would fire rain bullets at the students and get his car into the canteen where he would open fire. He explained to the police his detailed plan because he had studied past mass killings. Then, he put it together for this to be his plan and that his goal is to kill Every killer has a weakness when it comes to every plan. 
He even created a rating system to rate the effectiveness of weapons used by criminals and how many could be killed. So here, he realizes that he has to kill his family first, so in case he commits a crime they will not be ashamed of what he did. He also admitted that after his family was killed, he went to his former school immediately with his rifle and hundreds of bullets. He said, supposedly he will implement his plan but he did not pursue it because he said it was too real. He said even though he still plans to kill students, his killing of his family is not a plan. Police asked him if they fought before the crime, but he just replied, if I would have woken up that day and you would have come to me and asked, are you going to kill your family tonight? I would have definitely said, no. So, the police could not be able to control Trey's true motives. Trey fled not guilty of his crime but the court denies it. He was sentenced to life imprisonment and no possibility of parole. Trey regrets his crime committed and he once said, I hope God will forgive me, because he can never forgive himself. The moral here is, you as a parent do not let your child collect guns even if we say he is of the right age. Because if you have a gun, you can always think of violent things. Second, do not get addicted to violent computer games themes like Grand Theft Auto. They also found out that Trey in his childhood loved toy guns. Most mass killing suspects are addicted to these team games. We must lead them to educational matters for the sake of the community and the whole family. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to be updated with life amazing stories.